Shalom Aleichem Rabbi Yisai. It's right after Sukkot, and we learned already Parshas Bereishis, and on, on Simchas Torah, part of Bereishis, and now we have no time to learn the Parsha Bereishis. We have zero time, because on Friday was Simchas Torah, and then came Shabbos Bereishis, and now all, <laughs> we're already into Noah. So when are we going to learn Bereishis, Rabbi Yisai? So we have to make a little 15-minute shear on Bereishis, and then we go to the other parshas. Now, let, what can you say about parshas that takes six months to learn in 15 minutes? Because we have no time, it's young, it was just over, and parshas is over, we late it on Shabbos, now Sunday we have to go to Noach. So, let's say three main steps in the parsha of Why does the Torah start over three times? What does that mean? It means in the beginning, the first word, Aleph Aleph, is Horatius Barlikim as a Shemaim as Oris. In the beginning, Hashem made the heaven and the earth, and it goes to six days, and then Yom Shvi'i, it ends, and then that's the first part of the beginning of the Torah. Then it starts again, Beis, Pasik Dalet, Eile Toldo Shemaim Va'aretz, and the whole story over again. And then in Hey, Pasik Aleph, it starts again. Zeh Sefer told us, told us, Oh no. Why does the Torah start three times? Bereshes in the beginning, Bar the Kim was a Shmaim Zars, Vars, I said Tov of O, void and empty, without form and shape. And goes through Yom Echad. Why does it say Yom Rishon? And on Sunday morning, every week we say Yom Yom Rishon Bishabbos, there's a Yom Echad. And it goes about what he made, the light, and then and, and the grass, and the, and the birds, and the animals, and then he finally made man at the end. And then he finishes, and the Bria is over. Then he starts again. Why did he start over again? It says, when he created them. What's the, what the extra hey there for? At the end of the Parashat is it says that hey on Pasigalim, Zeth Sefer told us, told those Sodom. This is the book of the, cre- the generations of man. What do, are we, is it teaching us by these three beginnings? <sighs> Let me tell you. One is the past, the first part, the first opening. The second is the present, from the very beginning, for the first six days until today. And the third is the future, Yemes, Yosmos, Amashiach. The first six days, he made man, and then the man did a chet, and he threw him out of Gan Eden. Let's try it again. Eile told the Shemaim Boritz. These are the generations of heaven and earth. The he boron, when he created them again, hey, that has to do with Avraham. Abram was an ideal man. Adam did a chet, was thrown out of Gan Eden. Everything that happened in that uh, the first few hundred years was one day Friday. It says in Medrash, two went to bed, four got up. Cain killed Hebel. That's all in that first Friday. That Friday was hundreds of years, because remember, it's one of the Shesh Mebrashes. The world is 5772 plus Shesh Mebrashes. That we don't know how long that was, but we know for sure that one Friday a lot of things happened. They said das, they said das, and the whole thing, and kind killing Hevel, and, and the Nachash. That's all in one day. <laughs> How's that happen? That's the past. So Hashem wanted to try again. Ayla told the Shemai Boris, this is the generations of heaven and earth. That's the last 5,000 years. And this, the third one, is at the end. Zeha Sefer, this is the book of what man did to, with himself and with the world. Zeh told us, Adam, the Moshe Mashiach. This is the result of what man did with the world. You know, in the first section, of uh, the first six days, it says, let us make man Nasa Adam. It's our menu in our way how we look. But it never says there, that he made him offer men hadoma didn't say ba'ab nishmas chayim. That's the second step story telling. 
in the second story. Ela told us that Shemai was Bahibaram. There it says he made man and a woman and he created them together, then he split them apart, they were both equal. And um Hibaram is a high sort of man as rinsed Avraham. And he made the world with the hay, Yudka, you know. Yud is Olam Habo, a little letter, because very few people get there. And hay is Olam Hazer. And ideal man is Avroham. So there it says uh, that he made man offer men Adom of Yibach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. So who was the first man? Who says Nas Odom and Salmenu? Who was that? It wasn't Odom or Rishon, because it doesn't say he made him offer men Adom So who was he? The Yomer Elohim, Elohim, that means Aleph Chavov, Nase Odom, let's make a man. With Salmenu in our image. Kid Musenu, with intellect. Image means he has free choice, no other creature has free choice. A bear doesn't have free choice, or a snake, or an eagle, or a tiger, or a lion. The Yirdu, let him rule the world. Let him go down and control the world. All the Chayas and all the Ophis and Shmai Horas. The Yirdu came as Ho'odim, he made that man, male, male and female together, the compost, composite man. But Salomo, a unique creation. But Salomo like him, in God's likeness, a godly creature who has intelligence. Zohar the cave bar also be created a male and female. But you are close, some of the kim, but you are the him, the multiply. And you can eat all the vegetation. Now you're not allowed to eat any car, and the carnivorous, they were not carnivorous, they couldn't eat meat until after the marble. 1656 years later. But where does it say he made him offer men Adomo? Or where does it say Nishmas Chaim? That's the second man. Who's this first man? A human. Looked like a human being. He has intelligence, free choice. Not yet in the Shama. Got to say Nishmas Chaim. Who was he? It looked like the Homo sapien. Intellectual, smart. Who was he? Maybe this is what they call Odom Kadmon, the first man, highly intelligent creature. So let's go to the second. Eile told us Hashemai Baharats. This is the generations of heaven and earth. Behi Borom, the little He, has to do with Avroham. He almost soak because after he created the world, and the first six days were over, and Adam did the Chet. Now he goes on, and the monks, for the last 5,000 years, one man appeared who changed the world. That's Abraham, who changed the world. The whole purpose of the creation is for Abraham, the Hebron, for this ideal man. That's what God was waiting for, someone to discover him, the invisible force behind all the forces. You know that the invisible forces of nature are the most important Magnetism, gravity, radio waves, air, Ruch HaKodesh, the Vua, Hashem, Kedusha. All the things that are invisible are real. This table, you can burn it up. Hitler didn't kill six million Jews, he killed six million bodies. The essential man he didn't kill. The English who told the Shemayim was Behi Boram Vayom, a social of him as the Eretz Vashemayim. Vayitzer Hashem created with two yuds, Yitzer Tov and Yitzer Ra. Hashem Lekim is Odom Ofar Min Adama. He didn't make the tiger Ofar Min Adama. Maybe he did, but doesn't say that. Didn't make a lion, a tiger, and a worm, and an eagle, and a bull, and a tiger, and nothing Ofar Min Adama. No, no. Where did the fish come from? Doesn't say only man offered Madama. But he bought in his nose he breathed Nishmas Chayim. A lot of people are alive, they have no Nishama. They lost their Nishama due to tremendous chet. They're shade and they're physical without a Nishama. Many were showing in the world like that. But he bought why does it say only by man offered Madama? He had two extremes Nishama and dirt. Often, biodegradable, you come from that, you're going back to that. 
Afar men no adama. Do you know that man is made from Afar? The most important thing in the world is Afar. All food comes from Afar. First man came from Afar. Chiesa Mason comes from Afar. There's so many laws in the Torah about Afar and Kalayim and Tumor and Meiser. And, and, and you can't, can't plow a cow with, with, a, with, with, with a donkey and, and together the ground. So many dinim of Afar. Afar is life. He made him essentially alive. Afar in Adam. If he's a Chote, he's Mamish from the Adamo. If he's a Tzadi, he's Aleph Dalin Mem. He's Hadom Raglov, the, the, the footstool of God. He's the greatest creature on earth. He represents God. Hadom. If you're a Sadiq. Adom. Adom. If you're a Russian. Look at Rav Shamsham. So he went now. He could speak. What kind of creature was this that Adam Kadmon, the original man, that uh, didn't have an Shama? So my father says, the Nacha, she was Orum Mikola Chayos, the wisest creature from all the creatures God made. The Nacha, she not going to talk to Chava if he didn't have a Neshama. Can't speak. Koyach Adibor, Koyach Mamalalo, the Koyach of Milo, the speaking, came from Ha'al. So the Ra'al Bang said he never spoke to Chava. There was no nochash. That's the eighth of our rafts, that's the Ra'al Bag. That's why you don't print the Ra'al Bag in the Chumashim for the last 50 years. 50 other things the Ra'al Bag said is very controversial. You can't speak unless you have a neshama. The Yibab Bab and Nishmas Chaim Koy Chadibur. No animal in the world can speak. Not a Minerberg, not a parrot, nothing. Unless you teach him over 5,000 times the same word. Then he says, Good night! Good night! Even though it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And you teach him the 30 or 40 or 50 or 100 or 200 words. But if I miss the boy, he's 13 years old, he makes an hour and a half drosha. Or when he's 6 years old, he talks like on and on and on. Nobody can speak from themselves unless a human being. How could the Nochish speak? But Nochish, how your Orum is the cleverest. They call it Chayos. But he had two legs. Looked like Adam Rishi. Maybe that's the, that's the Adam. Maybe that's that original Adam Kadmon. Very brilliant creature. Father says maybe these are the cavemen who rode on the walls. Didn't have a neshama because only here it says the ibav was chaim offer men adama. Didn't say about the other animals they came offer men adama. Maybe Hashem said they should be here. That's all. They should be here. Let me turn this light on. Um, think about that. Al-Bad said it was Noah Nocha, she was her guilty against the harm. Very controversial thing. He says a lot of other things, that is. It's so controversial, they don't print it in any in the last 50 years. But the first safer printed on the Gutenberg Press. The first safer was Chumash Rashi with one other Mephorish, Raal Bag. Now Rashi was in 1100. Al-Bad was a little later. The Gutenberg Press was 1550. And then they printed Rashi with Ra, so it was good enough for the people in the Middle Ages, 1500, 1550. But nowadays he says a lot of things. Kind and Hevel were not children, they were shaded. I don't even want to tell you what he says about the marble. He's a Rishon. So, but people can't handle that, so they don't print it anymore. You can get it printed separately, Ral Bagal, Torah, wild things. Anyhow, so maybe this was the Odom Kadmon, maybe the prime, very brilliant. Look, he had two legs, and uh, maybe that was then uh, he was enough. I show you all the colors. He could speak, whatever that means. But he heard him the nefesh chayim. He told the shem lekim gan be eden be kedem to the east. Oh, you know the story. And um, the third says that Sefer told us Adam. Here, at the end of Rishis. This, this is the book of the man, the generation of man, what they did with this world. The young Bartle came, Adam, when the Prince God made man, Adam Rishim, with the Musa Elohim, in God's likeness, also as he made him. Zophar in the cave of Baram, he created both together at the same time, Baram, Baram, and then he split them. But Yevarich Osam, Yikoyah Shemam, Adam, called their names, Adam, Mr. Mr. Adam. Yom Hibaram. 
All right, and then it goes further. He had a child when he was 130 years old because he put his wife in Kherim for 130 years because she tricked him. And then he had a child called Chase. Uh, and so, it, you know, as you look at the generation from the beginning, it's always Adam, Chase, and Nosh. What happened to Kaim Hill? According to Rabbi, they're shaken. They, one killed, was killed, the other one was driven away, and uh, he was wandering the whole world, and he didn't have any children. They were shaken. It doesn't say Ben, but here it says Ben. Uh, Shays, the cornerstone. He's the cornerstone of humanity. After Adam is Shays. Adam, Shays, and Nosh. And it goes down to Noah. Uh, Adam, Shays, and he's the foundation. Shh. Like the Evan Shasiyo, the dome under the rock. Evan, that's the foundation stone. Uh, Shays was the foundation of mankind. He was a tzaddik. Shays, the he, the Adam, Achi, Hazida, Shays, Shmon, Meyashon, 800 years. He had born of one. He had many other children after that. Call you may other mashiach. Chai tesha meios shonu v'shlosh shishona. Nine hundred thirty years. He was supposed to live forever, which is a thousand. But he ate for the eight hadas, and therefore he took self seventy years, and that's why David was existing for seventy years. Because without David, without if Noah wouldn't have died, would have lived on on. There wouldn't be no reason for mashiach for David. And that would have been the perfection of the world. So he he died now at seventy years before a thousand. Then these seventy years was given to to uh, to, uh, to David. After Mashiach comes, will be like Adam Rishim Kodem Achet before he died. Okay, then it came Enosh, and then it came the different people, Canaan, Mahalalel, they lived 912 years, 905 years, 910 years, 895 years, 962 years. Uh, then came a person called Chanoch, uh, leave the shortest of anybody, 365. Uh, Hashem took him away one day and he was gone because he was a weak person, easily influenced. So in order that he shouldn't do any sins, Hashem took him away. But, and then it was not there, there anymore. He, Chanoch, who lived the shortest, had the son who lived the longest than any human being ever. Mesh, Meshu Selach, 969. So Hashem took him away, didn't want him to, to do a chet. You know, that's not fair. Why did he let the other people do chatoyim? Like Enosh. Enosh was a bad man. Started a Zoram. Why didn't, he, why didn't he give uh, uh, Chanoch a chance to do tshuva, uh, to do an Avera and punish him? Why he took him away before he did an uh, Avera? answer is simple. Chanoch was a simple man, easily influenced, so therefore uh, it's not going to be his, his fault if he goes off the derrick. So Hashem took him away. Other people were brilliant. They could choose between right and wrong. They chose wrong, the wrong derrick. So um, he took Chanoch away. Misalei Chanoch, Esol Kim, he was a total tzaddik. And then one day he wasn't there anymore. Ki lokach also him, God took him. And Meshu lived 969 years. The man who lived the shortest had the son who lived the longest. And then Lemach, and then came Noach. Okay, Rabbi said, we don't have much time because we have to start writing Noach. So um, we have to end right here. If you want to have a long, lengthy brace, go back last year. Uh, just go back last year, you'll see it. Maybe you'll have a longer thing for braces. And Rabbi said, I have to say, Zayin uh, Gazun, because we have to get into Noach. That's the next recording. Will be Noach. So thanks for listening, and uh, we'll try to do the season from now on every week one time. Zayin, Zayin Gazun.